All right, so there's Arsenal footage in the background, which means it's time to get serious. Now, you might have heard a few other content creators, YouTubers, Robloxers, developers talk about this already, but I wanted to make a video on it to let you guys know about it just in case you haven't, because this is actually a pretty big deal and it's a, a pretty big problem going on right now. But as you can probably tell from the title, when you clicked on this video, Roblox has a really big problem with hacking right now. And it's not entirely Roblox's fault, but it, it kind of is, it kind of isn't. We'll get more into that here in a second. But the gist of the problem is over the past few days, a lot of very big, uh, traders on Roblox, a lot of really big developers on Roblox, a lot of really big games on Roblox have gotten their accounts hacked, compromised, their Roblox wiped, their items traded, some of the games got taken down. Like, for example, a few days ago, the developer for World Zero and Royal High, they both had their main accounts hacked, and the hackers pretty much took the games down temporarily. Roblox had to step in, put it back up, fix everything. They had their Robux wiped, they had a lot of their items sent to random people. Like, this guy here, he randomly got some of the hacked items from the Royal High developer developer's account and because of that Roblox actually thought that he was you know in on it he was the one that hacked the account and so they actually deleted his account and terminated him you now for the most part a, a lot of this has been fixed a lot of this has been solved Roblox has been able to get the accounts under control they've been able to you know restore access to the people that got terminated you know so on and so forth but the problem still remains there's a really big hacking problem going on and it's not just developers either a bunch of UGC creators like this guy here guest Capone he actually had his account hacked uh, all of his limiteds got wiped, all of his items, all his Robux, everything. Now, just like the others, he's back in business, but like I said, there's a problem and Roblox has responded. So Roblox put out the security PSA here, kind of talking about the situation, talking about what's going on, because obviously when you have a situation where a lot of big developers, a lot of big creators, a lot of big people on Roblox are getting their account hacked and maybe even more, right? These are just the big guys. If you're a small guy on Roblox, if you're a normal dude like, like you, you know, the people watching this video, if your account gets hacked, well, there's not really much you can do. You don't really have too big of a outreach or a voice to really talk about it. And a lot of people who end up getting hacked just don't get their stuff back. Like I I said it's a really big problem and that's mainly why i'm making this video to let you guys know about this because if you guys get hacked then you know that that's a really big problem for you guys if i get hacked i can call roblox right i, I know the people at roblox that's not really a big problem but if you guys get hacked it's a big problem. Anyway, Roblox put out this PSA and it's basically a, a general security PSA and it kind of talks about the issue of SIM swapping. Now, SIM swapping is how all of these developer accounts have gotten hacked so far. Now, for the people that don't know what SIM swapping is, it's not where someone hacks your computer or gets your password or anything like that. It actually has to do with your cell phone. So inside of your cell phone, you have a SIM card. That SIM card basically contains your number and a bunch of other information about you and your phone and your, your cell number. Now, I'm not gonna go entirely into how all of this works works it just you know for obvious reasons we'd be here for probably like 20 30 minutes but the gist of it is that the hackers somehow get access to someone else's sim card so like for example if someone had access to my sim card then what they would be able to do is intercept all of my text messages right because if they had my sim card they would essentially have my phone number which means any text messages that go to me would also go to them now the problem here is when you log into roblox if you have two-step authentication enabled which a lot of people they have their cell phone attached to their roblox account account for, you know, security purposes. And so when they log into Roblox, Roblox will actually send a little code to their phone and be like, hey, you know, here's the code, use this to log in just so, you know, your account is secure. Now you might already see where this is going, but if someone else has access to your text messages and you send a, a, a code to your phone, then they also get that code, which means they have the code to get into your account. And so this is how a lot of these big developers are getting hacked. Hackers are getting access to their phones, their phone numbers, and as a result, they're getting the code to log into their account, and they're getting into their account, deleting all their stuff, getting the Roblox, all of that. Now, unfortunately, with situations like this, there's not really too much Ro Roblox can really do. Um, You know, they can't really stop someone from getting your SIM card. That, that really has to do with, you know, all, all the different phone companies out there. That's more of a problem with them. But as we all know, Roblox does have pretty poor moderation pretty poor security like for example they don't have access to authenticators you can't use an authenticator app on roblox like you can with almost every other game literally every other game on the planet and a bank you know you can use it with banks too which is actually really scary because a lot of roblox developers you know including myself we have a lot of robux on the website and when you have a lot of robux on the website that's that's literally real money so if you have a million robux that's a few thousand dollars and a lot of these developers they have 50 million 100 million robux they they could literally have a hundred thousand dollars just sitting in their Roblox account. And if that Roblox gets wiped, well, boom, there it goes, right? So in a way, Roblox is actually kind of like a bank account and the security on Roblox kind of stinks. Now, there's not really much I can do about that right now. There's not really much you can do about that until Roblox fixes it, which hopefully they do soon. 
uh, there's not really many options we have. The best we can do is make sure we have a strong password and wait for Roblox to introduce more security measures. Now, there is one thing that you can do, and this is actually the reason why I'm making this video. So the only way to get your account SIM swapped on Roblox, all right, is to actually have a phone number attached to your account. Now, something you can do here is if you go on Roblox, all right, and I'm not sure how you do this on mobile, but I'm doing it on PC. I'm sure it works the same with Mac. Maybe if you have a phone, you want to try it doing it on like a PC or something, but you want to go up here. You want to go to your settings, all right, your Roblox settings. Click that. Now, once you click that, it's going to take you to this page here. Now, right here phone number. I used to have a phone number attached to my account. And what this means is that whenever I went to log in, uh, they would send me a text message to my phone and be like, hey, here's the code to log in. Now, I have since deleted my phone from my account. It is not on my account, which means I cannot get hacked uh, through this method, you know, through this big problem that's going on right now. If you have a phone number on your Roblox account, I highly recommend, especially if you have something that you, you know, you have a value on, like a limited or some, something you don't want to lose in the case of getting hacked, take off your phone number, delete your phone number, number from your account there should be a button right here where you can clearly do that now here's the only issue with that if your phone number isn't on your account anymore then well you don't have two-step authentication enabled anymore now the thing is you want to be able to get a code to log into your account because that's how you keep your account safe you just don't want to do it through your phone you want to do it through your email so make sure you have an email address on file right here okay no phone number email address right here all right i have my email address here and then once you do that you can actually go into your security all right, security right here on the side. And then the option is right here, two-step verification. Improve your account security. A code will be required for some actions like logging in. And then it will email me a code every time I want to log in. All right, now, with the SIM swapping method, they don't have access to my email. All right, as long as my email is secure, the password's good, only I have access to that. So it's perfect. It's good. No worries. So now, anytime I log into Roblox, they're going to send me a code through my email instead of my phone to log in, which means I'm safe from this big problem that's going on in Roblox. But this is important, make sure you have two-step authentication on, that's the important part. Another thing you can do is set up an account pin. I actually need to do this right now. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna create a pin real quick. Now, what this does is if someone does get access to your account, they can't make any big changes to it unless they have your pin. So, okay, so that's that's good now. All right, we got that, we got that situated. Now, once you do those two things, you're good to go. Obviously, again, make sure your password is good. Don't share your password with anyone. These are obvious things, if your password is password, password, please change it immediately. But that's pretty much the gist of everything going on right now. Now, again, I, I don't want to cause alarm or anything. Most of you guys are probably not going to get hacked. All right. But the thing is, when it comes to situations like this, you never really know how widespread the issue is. And there, you know, is it a data leak situation or developers data getting leaked somewhere or people Googling this information? Like, I, th there's a lot of different ways to, you know, like, a lot of different possibilities here. So the best thing to do is to just be secure and take all the precautions necessary. And that's really the best thing you can do right now. Again, though, don't really worry about it. You're probably not going to get hacked. But if you do this, it ensures that you're, you're good to go. So no worries. Anyway, serious video out of the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if uh, your account is now safe and secure. All right, that's very nice. Hit that subscribe button. Keep using Star Code Real Creek when you're buying your Robux and Roblox Premium. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.